Hi guys and welcome to Airability. This week I'll be talking about wind flags, how I use them and where I get them. Hi guys and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of blend therapy. And as ever, I'm broadcasting from the Airability HQ, the bottom end of my shed. Did I ever tell you I love my shed? Sheds, I believe, are a human right. We should all have one. Escape is the key, and that's why I love my shed. Anyway, it's been a while since my last video, and I thought I'd just talk about a little bit about what I've been doing, and then I'll move on to some other stuff. So first of all, I went to another UK bench rest competition last week, had a fantastic weekend, and if you'll notice in my last video, I was talking about the lessons I learned from my first ever competition. So I applied a lot of those, to last week and things got better. So I actually came eighth on day one out of 26 people um, in the light varmint class, which I was very happy with. But day two in the H3 class, the heavy varmint class, I actually came fourth, which was an absolute massive surprise for me. And I was over the moon. I think I even beat two X world champions on the way to fourth place. So by anybody's standard, that's a good weekend, isn't it? And I must admit, it's a week later and I'm still on a bit of a high and I enjoyed every minute of it. And thank you to everybody who helped organise that weekend or made it fun. So thanks again. So today, um, I thought I'd talk about wind flags. So the last video, I was talking about the need for wind flags that I'd learned. I needed new wind flags um, to be able to compete at these Benchrest UK competitions. So as ever, my friend um, Tom Jacobs of Tom Jacobs Design, he actually makes these wind flags and they're quite popular on the circuit. He's made quite a few sets for people now. And what I thought I'd do would be, um, I really like these wind flags. I got them a few weeks ago. I thought I would share my experiences and explain a little bit more about the wind flags. And then, um, you know, if you find them of use to you, you could contact um, Tom. First of all, I do want to say it, because you have to on YouTube, um, I did get these wind flags at a discount, but they were a friend's discount, and it wasn't because I was going to make this video. I've decided to make this video because I'm really happy with the product. So, here we go. So, pretty much, this is one of Tom's um, wind flags. And now, as you can see here, they're made out of aluminium, and all these colourful parts, are 3D printed plastic and obviously you have the ribbon which is attached by a clip which shows the direction of wind and the intensity of the wind. So at the front here we have a ball which is split into two colours which makes it easy to see when the wind is going away from you or coming towards you. So there you go. Right and also which way the wind is by looking at which side the orange is when it's going left to right. So that really makes things quite easy and it's really um, colourful and bold and can you know you can see it really quickly when you just glance at it um, whilst you're shooting. There's an aluminium pole here. There is this is the bracket in the middle where you would balance it on the spindle like so. There we go works very it's, it's, it, it's very free and it um, moves with the wind very easily there's also you'll see them in the pictures later um, each wind flag has a tripod which you know unfolds and the wind flag attaches to so there's in the set there are three wind flags three ribbons and three tripods so everything you need to get going and then at the end here is the tail fin. And again, it's adorned by Tom's Jacob's Design logo in the corner here. There's another hole where the ribbons are detachable. So if you, you know, you can attach your own colored ribbons, etc. I know that Tom makes these in various different colors. So if you want to set, why not have a chat with him about um, what colors you would like and he'll say what colour he has in stock and he might be able to accommodate you. So why don't we 
have a look at these flags in action and I'll talk about how they work. If you've got any more questions about wind flags and how to get them, you can reach out to Tom by joining the AirAbility Facebook group and giving him a poke. Tom won the light varmint class at the last event and he also came second in the heavy varmint class. It was quite a performance. Tom was using Jason Lockett's old fine work bow P70. It was great to see that it was finally put to some good use. So enough about Tom and his winning streak in his fine work bow P70. Here's a close up of his wind flag when I first set it up in my garden. You can see exactly what you get in one of Tom's kits here. You get the three wind flags with the spindles that you attach to the end of the tripods. You get three ribbons with clips to attach them to the tail fin. And there you go, there's a picture of the tail fins. As I said earlier, Tom is also happy to prepare custom orders and use custom colours for the wind flags. This rather fetching purple is being made for James Storms and it's going all the way to America next week. There we go, there's his set of wind flags. Finally you get to see the wind flags in action. I attempt to set them up at three equidistant intervals between myself and the target. This seems to give me a good idea of the wind conditions when I shoot. And here's a bit of a close up of the actual provided tripods. Once set up, you can see that in the kit you get three wind flags, three ribbons and three tripods. It's all you really need for 25 meter shooting. So as you can see here, the wind picked up a little bit and it's a good example of how sometimes the wind isn't always the same for the full 25 metres. Now finally, here we go. This is me at the competition the other week when I came forth. As you can see, there is many different types of wind flags out there as there are shooters. I love to see all the different designs. And can you notice that the wind conditions aren't the same for every lane? So it's essential that you have your own set of wind flags so you know what's going on in your lane. So finally, Tom sells these wind flags at £150 a set plus £15 posted packaging. As you can see, he did me them in custom AirAbility Orange and I applied my own stickers. I think it looks cool anyway. Some of our AirAbility members have also fitted them to customise boxes and also they decided to mock my attempt at my customised box. So I had to go out and update my box to make it a bit more suitable. A final shout out to Tom's girlfriend Kirsty, who was second in the rookie sporter class. It's becoming a family affair. So there you go, everything you ever needed to know about wind flags. Well, nearly. And since Tom won the light farming last week, we can say these wind flags are used by winners. Top notch. Great job, Tom. Um, also, one other thing I'd say is that um, just remember that, um, you know, things can get rather windy out there. And one thing Tom and I learned is we do attach the tripod to the ground with a tent peg in the breezy conditions to make sure um, they don't tip over. At the competition, I even saw one guy with old um, plastic milk bottles hanging from the um, bottom of his tripods with um, string full of water to stop them tipping over. So again, you know, as I said before in the video, there is many different types of wind flags as there are people at these events. But there's one thing that is true to be able to compete at a bench rest event, you do need your own wind flags. You do need to practice with them and you do need to be able to read them properly and anticipate how the wind's going to go and how it's going to affect your pellet. That's key. So yeah, thanks. 
Anyway, right, next week. What I thought I'd do about next week is, over the summer, due to me being pretty tardy, putting these videos out, I've got a bit of a backlog of little bits and bobs that I've bought and um, things I'll find useful. So what I thought I'd do next week is, I'll have another bits and bobs week and I'll tell you something, there's some really interesting stuff coming up. Stuff you probably wouldn't buy if you didn't know it existed, which has really helped me. Now that's a tease, isn't it? So, until next time guys, remember, you know, always have a safe backstop and take care, bye bye. Don't worry guys, that'll be the last time for a while that I jibber jabber about wind flags. But next week, I'll be talking about some real cool bits and bobs I picked up over the summer that might be of interest to a few of you. Until then, take care.